11 tonight, growing concerns about a South American bug some say has made its way to the U.S. And it's called, of all things, the kissing bug. The CDC said it is rare, but it can carry a parasite that can cause a deadly disease. Here it is, that ugly bug that is all the buzz after we posted the story on WJHL.com. But Curtis McLeod found out so far there's no cause for serious concern here in the Tri-Cities. Yeah, Sarah, Josh, these bugs are reportedly popping up in southern states, as you can see here from the map on our screen here. And I did have the opportunity to reach out to local health officials. Several told me they had never heard of it, but I found out that some here in the Tri-Cities are trying to learn more. Take a good look at this nasty bug. One kiss and it could mean death. Or at least that's what the CDC said in a recent alert. The kissing or tritomine bug normally found in South America has been spotted in several southern states. That news has some in East Tennessee on edge. What do you think when you see that? It's pretty gross and scary and I wouldn't want it to bite me. Even the experts at Leo's Pest Control in Bristol are puzzled. We are doing research, looking it up, seeing what's going on. Steve Skeens has worked at Leo's for more than 20 years, and even for him, the kissing bug is a first. I haven't ever seen one, uh, but we're all getting different pests year to year. The CDC says the bug carries a parasite that causes the deadly Chagas disease, but it's rare and hard to identify. I think a lot of folks are getting confused with a, another uh, insect we're looking into called the wheel bug. Here's a picture of the wheel bug right there. Here's a picture of the kissing bug. Both insects are very different. If you'll take a look at the wheel bug again, you'll see that the back of it has kind of a saw-like back to it, while the kissing bug has more of a longer snout than the wheel bug. The right now, best thing to do, try to seal them out, caulk, uh, weather strip your, around your doors, windows. The CDC says if you spot what you think is the kissing bug, trap it and call your local health department. Until then, Skeen says, don't worry. I don't think it's a great deal uh, to be worried about right now at this time. Now, if you'll take a look here, you'll see on the WJHL Facebook page, this story has gotten a lot of buzz here. Just looking at that, 147,000 people reach, even more so that we've seen all day here. And some of you have told us that you've seen the kissing bug here. So far, there have been no official sightings. So that's why it's important to contact the health department if you think that you found one. Josh? Curtis, thank you. And for more information on the kissing bug, you can check it out on our website tonight, WJ.